G'day friends, Jack here, The Vegan Dad, here for my weekly vegan taste test review. If this is your first time here, I do these weekly vegan friendly taste tests so you can stay up to date with new released vegan items in Australia. So definitely do subscribe to this channel if you wanna stay up to date with that. Anyway friends, trying out this new range of products from a company called Future Farm. So Future Farm are actually a Brazil based company, but they are actually hitting the market by storm around the world. They have hit up all parts of Europe, America, and now Australia with three items out of their range that they have released just for now anyway. So we've got this Future Farm, a Future Mint, Future Burger, and finally the Future meatballs as well. So Future Farm actually also have a bunch of other items like other smoky burgers, they've got nuggets, they've actually got like a tuna alternative as well that is available in other parts of the world. So hopefully this is a good sign of things to come that a company is releasing new items. So anyway, you can find these new items in Coles supermarkets for $8 each, which is actually really price competitive against other brands in the market. You might be thinking, Jack, even more mints, even more burgers. What are we gonna do with these? I know, I know we always, probably about every six months, we have a new brand coming out with new burgers and mints, but I'm all for it. It does make all the other items a bit more price conscious. It makes price competition, so hopefully it brings down the price of some of those other items, just having some competition in the market. From all reports that I've heard, these items are actually really banging, so I'm actually really keen to whip up some items right now. I'm gonna make a spag bowl with the meatballs, make some burgers. So anyway, I'm gonna get in the kitchen right now to cook these up, see how they cook, see how they taste, and let you know my opinion on these new items from Future Farm. So let's go. Well, here we go, friends. Here is my little banquet for the future farm items here. We've got the spaghetti balls, really great texture on them, the mints, and the burgers there. So as I said, these are $8 each in Coles supermarkets. So while that $8 sounds fantastic, something to be mindful of, the grammage on these products are a little bit less in comparison to some other items on the market. So the mints and the meatballs are 250 grams, and then the burgers are 230 gram, two patties there. So other brands on the market have like grams of about 300 to about 400 grams. So in the end, it actually works out very similarly priced to other brands on the market like Beyond, Impossible, V2, and all that sort of stuff. So very similar price, but the grammage is a little bit less than other brands on the market. Initial reaction when cooking it, texture fantastic, held together really well. The texture on the mints looks really good. These products probably didn't have the same sort of juiciness of some of the other bigger recognized brands on the market. So, you know, if you're looking for like that really 100% replica of beef, this probably isn't as good as other brands on the market. The juiciness of like squishing down on the burgers just wasn't there and the same with mints and all that sort of stuff. But overall though, great initial reaction. So let's try out the mints first. This is just a plain. As I could tell from the ingredients, ingredients are pretty much virtually all the same. No GMO, gluten free. These are soy based and pea protein based products here. So as I said, initially with cooking it, the texture was fantastic whilst cooking it. And even actually eating it now, the texture holds together really, really well. Other plant-based minces, like they get like really mushy once cooked, even eating it like once cooked, really mushy, whereas this just holds that texture down perfectly. So in terms of texture, this is definitely an A plus here. But in terms of flavor, it does have like that little bit of like that, pea protein sort of taste to it. 
and then also like a bit of like canola oil taste. So not a too bad option there in terms of texture. Texture is fantastic, but I wanna try out these meatballs. So these meatballs cooked up really easily, how they're shaped perfectly, I really dislike other brands on the market when you're making your meatballs, getting it in the sauce and then they eventually fall apart. But these held their shape perfectly, which is already a win in my opinion. As with the mince, texture is so, so spot on, like chewing into it get like that kind of like what you expect from like actually beef meatballs being like texture amazing a little bit chewy which is great but what is actually a really good in comparison to just having the mince by itself those kind of pea protein flavors and the canola oil is just you really struggle to even notice it which is fantastic these meatballs have absorbed this spaghetti bolognese sauce perfectly and the flavors of that spag bowl has just been heroed into those meatballs. And I'm actually really happy with those meatballs. You have meatballs for texture and the fact that they cooked up, held their texture, eating them, had that chewiness, still maintain that texture. It's actually a really, really good option there. Now, finally, we wanna try this burger patty. As I said, very similar ingredients to the other two products, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna be pretty much the same as the other two. So let's try out this burger right now. Again, the same as the other products. Texture, fantastic. Holds together really well. As with the meatballs, you really cannot taste that pea protein or like that canola oil taste with the combination of the other items in this burger, which is fantastic. So if you're having it plain, you're gonna taste a little bit of pea protein in there, but you know, it's all about chucking in other flavors to kind of elevate those dishes anyway. So overall, fantastic texture on all of these Future Farm Products, texture is so spot on and can honestly match the other top contenders in this market. Probably for me though, what is actually a little bit of a letdown is like it doesn't actually replicate that juiciness of some of those other top contenders have, which I find really, really good in replicating those animal-based alternatives. I think the juiciness is really missing on this. So in terms of comparison to other the big hitters, it probably does fall a little bit short in comparison to them, but still that texture is honestly one of the best out there. Texture is fantastic. But there we go, friends. These are now available at Coles Supermarkets for $8 each. You can find them with all the other plant-based meat alternatives there. So fantastic to have these growing options available. As I said, Future Farm have like a huge range of other products around the world. They got like a tuna alternative, they got sausages, they got other burgers, they got chicken alternatives as well. So hopefully this is a sign of new products that are gonna be coming out from Future Farm. So definitely do check them out. And I'm all about new options, making it a bit more price competitive for everyone. So then hopefully, you know, other products will go down in price, but these in terms of texture are fantastic. The taste and the flavors probably could have been a little bit better and that juiciness is honestly really lacking with all three of these products. Anyway, if you have tried out any of these Future Farm products, I'd really love to hear your opinion in the comment section below. So I'm just gonna happily finish off my spag bowl and burger now. So until next time, friends, I'll catch you soon.